Yes. Okay, that's where I'm doing a screencast right now for the students okay. that aren't here right now. Okay. All right, so landscape painting. First off, we need to talk about what a silhouette is. Does anybody know what a silhouette is? No. 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 Okay. Uh, a silhouette Why isn't it? Okay. All right, good. All right, a silhouette. It's uh, basically uh, a dark shape with a contour outline that you see. For example, the, the image, the picture here has two hands. You, know, you can't see any details inside. You can see that uh, on the hand on the right, they are wearing a bracelet or a watch or something because you can see that contour. There's like a bump there on her wrist, like right here. But otherwise, it's just a, a, a dark image, and you can see the outline and contour lines. That's called a silhouette, OK? Uh, here on the left, you can see a leaf. And inside it, you can see the veins and different colors and things, OK? If we just outline it, then you have this image in the middle where it's a, a contour of the leaf. And if we fill it in and make it all dark like this one on the right, this is a silhouette, okay? Okay. All right. Here's a more complex image. We have a, a plant with lots of uh, these funky leaves with all these grooves and edges, okay? Uh, if I turn this into a silhouette and we just focus on the negative space, you can see that the negative space are these black areas between the leaves and stems and everything, okay? The negative space is just as important as the positive space. All right? Okay. Yeah. All right, here's another here's another uh photograph. Uh sunset. Uh sunset images make the best silhouettes because uh they block out all the color inside images. So, we have three silhouettes here. We have the buildings here and you can see like the antennas and these little boxes and steps and stuff. This creates a silhouette of the building. We have a silhouette of the soccer ball that's right in front of the sun right here and we have a silhouette of this soccer player jumping up in the air and you can see his cleats and his fingers and all these contours around. Okay, you can see he's wearing shorts. Okay, so we see three silhouettes here. The building, the soccer ball, and the guy. All right, moving on. Now we have this landscape. All right, now up close, you can see all the pine branches of these trees and all these little details. But as you get farther and farther away, you get less and less details. You can see a few little trees here and there and this uh, middle ground layer. But as we get farther and farther away, we just see like these light gray areas. The colors are getting less and less intense. Okay, and this is showing a sense of depth. All right, things far away are lighter in color and value and intensity and fewer and fewer details because they're far away. Okay? So the three terms we're going to talk about with space that I'm going to review are the background, the middle ground, and the foreground. Okay? The foreground is the part of the picture or scene that appears closest to the viewer. Okay? There's all the details and the colors are darkest there. The middle ground is uh, lighter in value and it's going to be halfway between the foreground and the background. Things will be a little bit smaller in the middle ground. Things are going to be really tiny in the background. Like if you have like a tree and it's in the background, it's going to be really small. But if you have like a mountain, obviously it'll be bigger. Uh, but the colors, most importantly, the colors are going to be less intense. Okay, middle ground, background, and foreground. So <clears throat> what type of photo would this be called? This would be called a landscape, a landscape photograph, because it's mostly things seen in nature, trees and mountains and clouds and stuff. Uh, I'm going to go through this with you guys. I want you to look at uh, the picture on the left and the picture on the right. Tell me how many contour lines you see. So the one on the left, we well, the one on the left we have this one right here, the one that's almost black. That's one. 
This next one is two, right here. This one right five, here is three. Five, five, then we have five. four and five, yeah. Now this one on the right, you can see a lot more details in the in the contour lines and the foreground, these bushes with leaves and branches and whatnot. There's one. This one right here is two, three, four, five, and then the mountain in the background is six. Now you can see that sometimes the contour lines go all the way across, and sometimes they don't. Like this one right here only starts halfway. Sometimes these uh, layers overlap each other. Like you can see this front layer overlaps and goes back into this layer and this layer. And it makes the picture a little bit more dynamic and interesting. Over here, none of these layers are overlapping uh, into other layers. Okay, they're all like strips. And it's a little bit less interesting that way. So when we do our sketches, try to make your layers overlap into more than one. Okay? All right, so if a landscape is a painting of the natural world, a cityscape would be... A, yes, there'll be geometric shapes, buildings, and whatnot. Okay, this is a cityscape. Okay, you can see all the buildings. Does anybody know what city this is? Um, Tokyo. Good guess. Usually people say Tokyo because it's a big city and you got the big mountain in the background, but this is actually Seattle. Seattle has this space needle. There's only two cities that have a space needle, Seattle and Toronto. And because Toronto doesn't have any mountains around it, we know that this is Seattle. Okay? Okay. All right. What do you think a dreamscape is? It's something that looks like something in a dream. It's something to imagine. <laughs> a lot of people talking at once. Okay. A dreamscape. It's not real. Yeah. It's, it looks real. Like everything looks like it could be real, but nothing is possible like for example this picture where we see the battleship with the uh butterflies uh for sails and these elongated people and this guy's kite surfing with a butterfly wing this is a dreamscape because none of this stuff could actually take place it could only happen in like in your imagination all right that's a dreamscape so far we have the natural landscape the cityscape and the dreamscape okay so this is what we're going to try to work on today. This is an example of a cityscape with just the contour outlines. Nothing's shaded in. All right, we see it in the foreground, we have the ground and this phone booth. The middle ground, we have this lamp post that extends up into the sky. It cuts across behind the, the phone booth, and we have this double-decker bus. And in the background, we have the skyline with Big Ben back here and the, the eye of London. We know that this city is London. Okay, so this is what we're going to work on today. All right. Um, don't worry about Jungle Book. Uh, so I'm going to go through a. Uh, let me turn my camera on. Too many things going at once. All right, can you guys see me? Yes. Us? Okay. Yes. All right, so I'm going to walk you through our home right, on this piece of sketchbook paper. If you don't have your sketchbook, you can use any piece of paper. You'll just take a picture of it and upload it to your digital portfolio later. Okay, if you have any questions, you can send a... Uh... I'm going to see... Do we need to color it? No. Okay, Yay. there we go. All right. So, in the foreground, I'm going to do a landscape. I'm going to have just a simple bush and an elephant. Okay. Pretty simple. I did it really quick. Can you see that? Can everybody see that? Yeah. Alright, so I got my I got my bush and I got my elephant. Alright? 
That's my foreground. My middle ground, I'm going to add a hill. And I'm going to add in a palm tree. And another bush. Okay. Now you can see that because this bush is much closer, it's going to be much bigger. The bush I have in the middle ground, because it's farther away, is much smaller. Okay? Okay. Okay. And then in the background, I'm going to add another little hill and then a volcano and the little hill is going to have a tiny little palm tree okay okay and basically this is all you need to do for your homework you can do this with a cityscape or a landscape or a dreamscape you need to have three contour layers the foreground the middle ground and the background and you need to have two things on each one on my foreground i have the elephant and the bush in the middle ground i have the tree and another bush and you can see that because that this bush is much farther away i have to make it smaller and then in the background i have a volcano and another tree and you can see that because this tree is really far away it has to be much smaller than this tree so everything is relative to each other in size. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, does anybody have any questions about this? Um, do we need to draw a certain country or just like just draw a random? Any it can be just random. If you want to do like Saigon and have the Batexico and some motorbike riders, that'd be fine. If you want to do London that's fine if you want to do just a, a random landscape with bushes and trees, different sizes, that's fine. But I want you to just focus on the contour lines. Don't shade anything in. Nothing should have any details inside. I don't have the elephant's eye. I don't have the elephant's, uh, any. no details inside here, okay? Just, okay. Con just contour lines, middle ground, foreground, middle ground, background. And two things on each layer, each no. contour layer. Okay, I'm going to stop it for now. Uh, I'll post this on Classroom. Please uh, take a screenshot of your work uh, and send it to me on Classroom if you have any questions. Otherwise, put this into your digital portfolio. Make a new link on the index. Where to send it? Where to yeah. send it? Yeah, you'll take a you'll take a picture of your sketch. Add it to your portfolio, yep. and then make a new link on your index that says Landscape Silhouette. Landscape Silhouette. This will all be in Classroom, okay? Okay. All right. That ends our session for today. Yes. When will this